Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be seeing a third type of uh, data science interview questions that is most widely asked. So I hope uh, you had certain revisions uh, by doing some of the assignments or some of the interview questions that I posted on my community channel. Hope they were uh, much more interesting and it give you much uh, insights about how different data science interview questions are conducted and what are the different kinds of uh, questions that you should also expect when you sit or appear for any interview. So uh, here we'll see the third set of questions uh, which is asked uh, in a more formal way. So let's move ahead. So uh, here uh, Sometimes it is uh, asked or uh, obvious, this question is very obvious that uh, you might be asked uh, like or if you know Python, that is for sure for everyone. So interviewer might ask you what is the difference between PEP versus PIP versus PyPy versus PyPy. So all these words sound similar. So it seems like all those words are rhyming words but uh, usually you should be familiar with these words because uh, in case you get this kind of questions so this might be the very first question that the interviewer might ask to you so you should be very familiar with these things so let's uh, start by one by one what is PEP PEP so PEP basically stands for Python Enhancement Proposal PEP 8 so which is nothing but it is a style guide for code formatting means how you should write your code uh, how many indentations or white spaces you should keep and uh, what should be the formatting and on which line uh, which code should be written and so and so things so for example if you are writing a function and in that function say uh, you have different parameters say if you are calling a function of uh, cross validation or say you want to do hyperparameter training so in that you may have different parameters so if that parameters are in many so like say five or six and on the screen if you are not able to see it what you do is you write it one below the other so all those style guide and code formatting rules and regulations are kept inside this PEP which is on the enhancement proposal so that's what PEP is used for next is pip so pip is nothing but your python package installer so that is very simple so uh, when you want to install any package like numpy or pandas you usually do pip install or pip3 install pandas or numpy or any other libraries so it is for that then what you have is pypy so pypy stands for python package index so if you look for any libraries which are not familiar and the first link that will be opened uh, when you search on Google will be from the PyPy that is Python package index so where it has all the different uh, versions of the uh, libraries say uh, when you get different updates or if uh, different libraries require lower compatibility then for the older versions and with the version number if you want to install that particular library that specific version you need to go to this pi uh, that is a package index and then from there you can actually install the, those so that's what for pypy is and then uh, you have pypy that is pypy so this is nothing but a python interpreter so you know since uh, python is interpreted language uh, and so there is an interpreter written in python so the python interpreter which is written in python is called as pypy similarly you have something called as c python uh, so it is a python interpreter but which is uh, written in uh, c language so uh, and then you have jython so Jython is nothing but the uh, Python interpreter written in Java programming language and then you have Iron Python so which is again a Python interpreter but which is written in .NET uh, 
programming language so these are the different kinds of interpreter that uh, you can see there are many other in the literature so you can just google and search what are the different other interpreters if you wish to uh, know what are the different other kind of interpreters that are seen in python so this was just a basic uh, idea of what the uh, different rhyming words which are there in python is about so uh, let's move on to the next so uh, when do we stop training the neural network or uh, when do we stop training the back propagation algorithm or when do we stop applying it usually people don't think about this but uh, in the interview or in some of the interviews this kind of questions can be asked so you might not know because data science is all about machine learning deep learning and we'll get some python questions uh, mostly some theoretical as well as some practical so in deep learning uh, if you have done some projects or if you did some kaggle exercises or competitions then you should know uh, when do we stop training the back propagation algorithm so uh, i'll give you a minute to think about this uh, you can write in the comment section so uh, one common answer or if you think like you simply stop as soon as your training error gets worse between two subsequent steps so what happens is that you end up in suboptimal solutions prematurely so that is for sure because uh, if you look at the training error and uh, you see okay the training error is somehow reduced but actually you are not training the entire network right so might be the chance that the model has not learned everything properly or the neural network has not learned everything properly or not all the nodes in that neural network is stabilized okay so due to that what happens is like you will end up in two different solutions so uh, you might not know so that's where the problem of uh, this local optima happens so what happens in the network calculates errors variance on the training and the validation data or the test data whatever it is uh, but that is incorrect actually so you should not stop during the training instead what you should do is uh, you should stop training when the validation error is minimum so uh, like i said if you stop when the training error is minimum then you possibly overfit the model and the neural network cannot generalize the unseen data so in most cases the validation error is usually bigger than the training error so you should focus more on uh, reducing the validation error than the training error and then after that you can estimate by using cross validation so then you can uh, have a estimate like when you want to stop or do you want to go for more iterations uh, to train your model or after that you'll get an idea when to actually stop so well that was all regarding uh, in this particular video uh, for this uh, small uh, data science interview question hope you guys enjoyed this video please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thanks a lot for your attention